how to re reduce the amount of null checks in your code and reduce the amount of null pointer exceptions in Java. The first thing, prevent the chances of returning a null. So as you can see here in this get grocery list, we are creating an array list, grocery list. Now, um, if we just get this grocery list, it might be null. So we might be giving a null variable. And we don't want that. If it's null, we, we want to give them an empty array list in this instance. So we just create our own array list to take this array list and just put it into that. Now that's a lot of memory and you might not want to do this for every occasion, but this is just one instance how to do this. One way is to create a default value. So you can see here to lowercase, taking a text, a string, and making it lowercase. If that string is null, well, it's not going to return null, and it's, it's just going to give you an exception. And now right here, the string to lowercase, we're actually creating our own class specifically for doing magic on the string, maybe reversing it, maybe um, lowercase, uppercase, everything like that. So every text, and we have here in our constructor, we're giving our text. This dot text equals text, and if it's null, we have a default value. So whenever you do this, it's always going to return something. It's going to return this, and that's it. And if you actually put in an actual string in there, it'll lowercase the actual string. Now right here, another example of a default value. We have our network magic now, getting our IP address. Right here, if network address from hardware equals null, we give 127.0.0.1. Now that should be a constant, but I put that here for it's easier for you to see. And that's how you do a default value for that to reduce the amount of no pointer exceptions.